It's been, uh, I'm going to say for me, it's been fantastic to see the 910 and the GVG mixer again. It's been, it has been about 20 to 30 years since I've last played with that setup, and it's just come back almost instantly. And I reckon within an hour, I'd be perfectly fine to sit behind there again and start cutting again. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I think it's built into you, and I, I, one of the things I remember to finish my bit was a tape client would come in with a one hour, one inch tape, and you'd spool through it fast just for the start of the day, and a year later you could remember everything on it when he came in for the changes. <laughs> <laughs> just because as an editor you just adopted a way of seeing everything and remembering everything, more or less anyway, you know. Mm. So when they wanted that shot they'd forgotten, you actually knew where it was more <laughs> or less, oh it's about halfway through, you know, you go and find it and next mm. year you could still remember. So, uh, but I think you are also like what you're with at the moment, so I've, I've had Final Cut myself at home for two years now and, and I love it, I mean, just because it keeps me busy, mm. not busy in the brain as much as anything. Mm but there's so much new stuff all the time. That's why I asked the question, you know. And, and I don't have to earn a living anymore, so, but I still like to get on top of the bits they give me. And colour correction's the hardest by far. Which one, Final Cut Pro or Final Cut X? X, I've X. Got now. I've got all three of them, actually, <laughs> so. Uh. For me, it's been like uh, time travel, like going back in time. It's been really lovely to see all the kit and I haven't actually uh, edited this year so well not this year but for about a year so I'm, uh, producing something and um, so it's just I've, I've, I've felt like I've yeah, gone back 30 years and it's been really great to didn't feel like that long ago to me, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> hear all the sounds 32 33 years since I first came across one of those pneumatic type edit suites it's a long time mm. do you miss them Yes and no. I mean, there were a particular time in my life and it was uh, fascinating and, and, and we did read it into submission and we did make programs with it. It's because uh, it's not frame accurate. It drove me crazy You're just trying yeah. to use it. I remember that. Um, yeah. They're close. Yes, yes. But, uh, I, think, I think an important thing was you walked away with the tape that was a real yes. thing. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Oh, nice. like, like, yeah, like nice. yeah I've, I've really enjoyed it actually because tape, tape machines are, was my total broadcasting life going from monsters two inches down to DV cam players and just getting at the machine again. I spent so many hours shuttling up and down tape, doing this, learning about the machine, learning about the, the insides, all the menus, what they did, learning the tricks on the edit controller to make things happen faster because my game was all about making things as fast as you can. Get it on the air, get it finished quickly, and then you can have a little relax for 10 minutes. So that, playing with it, yeah, the grass valley, great. No, I've really enjoyed it, actually. It's been really, really good.